What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new crystal preset system that Pearl Abyss has added into Black Desert and just give you a full rundown on the entire system, everything you need to know about it, as well as what I'm running for all of my different presets for PVE, PVP, and all the variations that come with both of those different activities. So without further ado, let's get into it so if you haven't played bdo in a while and you're just coming back to the game you will notice that none of your gear has any crystal slots or any crystals in them don't worry pearl abyss moved all of your crystals from your gear to either your hideout storage or to the central market for myself personally i noticed that some of my crystals mostly my tag crystals were in the hideout storage and then everything else that was on my actual main character was put into my central market uh, if you make sure to check there first for all your crystals and you'll probably find most of them in either of those spots uh, I know that there have been some issues where some crystals being lost uh, But if you just put in a ticket, they've been a really they've been doing a really good job about getting those sent back to you almost immediately So I uh, haven't heard a whole lot of, th of that happening, but I've heard some cases So just if you if you're not seeing any crystals, you know missing a couple of them Just make sure to put a ticket in. I'm sure you'll get them back immediately uh, So first off, let's talk about what? The crystal preset system actually is so instead of putting crystals in your gear now we have a separate menu that you're going to be putting your crystals into that you can use for your entire family for all the characters in your family every single one all 27 of them that i have can use all these crystals in this system and the way you get to this crystal preset system is by going to your black spirit and going to transfusion and this will open up the crystal preset menu as you guys can see, it looks a little bit different than how the old crystals were slotted in previously. And there have been some changes to what crystals can be slotted where. Uh, they have done away with the specific slot crystals and made all crystals available without like, you know, any slot requirements. For example, L cars used to be in your main hand only. Now it doesn't really matter if it's in your main hand or not. That restriction has been lifted. So you can kind of do some pretty cool stuff with, you know, your crystal builds and your crystal allocation and do a lot of, you know, interesting things that you weren't previously able to do before because of things being tied to specific gear slots. Instead of the restriction being based on gear, they went ahead and decided to create certain categories of crystals. And for example, uh, RBF Vipers and RBF Powers, you can only have two of one of those types of crystals. You can have two RBF Vipers or two RBF Powers. You cannot have two of each. Uh, but for example, you can have uh, two RBF Vipers and two Gin Vipers, which would have been impossible previously. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in my actual crystal builds that I have set up here. But if you need a little bit more assistance on that, feel free to make a comment below and I can give you a little bit more information or go ahead and check out garmoth.com. The crystal preset builder has everything laid out in the categories uh, so you can see what you can select and what you can't select and it's pretty intuitive from there. Otherwise, if you don't feel like doing any of that, just start slotting crystals in. Start putting them in and see if they work and you'll kind of quickly figure out what works and what doesn't uh, pretty, pretty shortly after that, I would imagine. Instead of slotting your crystals into your gear and extracting them from your gear with crystal extraction tools, they've created a new system to kind of store all of your crystals for all of your account, family-wide, of course, uh, and that is going to be right here in the inventory in the crystal section. And uh, when you have a crystal, you are able to right-click it. When you open up this menu, you can able to right-click it and insert it into this little bag of crystals. And in order to remove a crystal, you have to have a crystal extraction tool uh, in order to remove it from this bag. Uh, otherwise, you know, you will destroy that crystal and, uh, you know, it'll just go poof. Similar how uh, it was before. If you had a crystal where you didn't want to extract it, you could just blow it up and take it out that way. You can still do that here. Um, but the good thing with this system is that you put all these crystals in this bag. All these crystals are in the bag and you can kind of see how many I've got in here. 42 out of 50. And uh, instead of, you know, making it so you have to have a crystal extraction tool to change crystals in your preset, you're able to freely swap crystals in the preset as much as you'd like by just hitting right click and then, you know, dropping in a new crystal. No extraction tool required, which is an amazing quality of life thing. Honestly makes hot swapping crystals and changing your build on the fly very easy, especially because this is in the Black Spirit. 
uh, as in the in terms of the menu, and you're able to swap this pretty much anywhere you're able to open up the Black Spirit, which is honestly super amazing. Really great quality of life. And it makes this whole crystal system just so much more intuitive, so much easier, and honestly, a lot less pay to win to a certain extent, which is honestly really great. So in terms of what my crystal presets are, I have f five current presets that I've set up and a couple that I'm kind of willing to change here in the future, uh, but I've pretty much got all my bases covered. I've got a PVE setup. I've got a Lil Yamage setup, which is as much like human damage and AP gains as I can possibly get while still maintaining the Jin Special Evasion. This is something that I would put on for a DR player, you know, very tanky DR player, Va Valkyrie Warrior, someone who I'm not really worried about my accuracy with. Uh, I just need more and more damage to either kill them faster or have enough AP and damage to kill them in a combo efficiently. And then I've got my Ak Yamage build or my Jin Viper build that includes Jin Vipers and RBF Vipers. Uh, this is one of those really cool crystal changes that has come with this preset system. I'm able to still get RBF Vipers that 10 human damage, but also maintain the 20 accuracy, which is fantastic for killing people with evasion. With this setup, I'm running around 932 uh, accuracy with my build, which is phenomenal for hit rate. And I also have an accuracy offhand that allow me to be up to like 1032. So evasion got a little bit easier to deal with uh, on on for me personally, but there are some things that have also kind of buffed evasion and I'll talk a little bit about that later. I've also got my cap siege or cap content build. Uh, a lot of cap content, you know, I have very good gear and the only real way to add value in cap content is by having more HP. Uh, I'm currently testing out an idea with running uh, accurates here as well for the uh, little bit of extra attack speed. So instead of just running a Lucas and getting 2% attack speed, I thought, oh, since you know my AP, DP, all that stuff is gonna be capped, accuracy, all this stuff is all capped, why not go for a little bit faster attack speed, which is uncapped, and give myself an extra 2% attack speed for all capped content. Haven't gotten a chance to test this out yet, but I plan to do so, and I'm very excited to uh, kind of see how this plays out. Uh, I've noticed that since uh, AOS has included those, you know, glove crystals that give 5% attack speed in Arena of Solaire, that having a lot of attack speed is very good. So I kind of thought this would be like the best way to kind of improve my DPS and improve my damage overall for capped content where normally you can't just get more damage. You just usually get more HP. Um, also, I've gotten a lot more HP than my normal capped builds due to the way that I can now have... Uh, Bond Kobe's as well as Jin Special Evasions, whereas before you'd have to make a choice between the two. So now I'm getting an extra 150 per Bond Kobe, which is phenomenal, 300 HP total, and Rebellious Crystals, which is 175 HP each per crystal, and still maintaining Corrupted Crystals, which was also not a thing you could do before. So this is honestly a pretty big overall buff to my Cap Siege build as a whole. So I'm really excited to test this out. And then I've got my meme damage reduction build with a little bit of resistances here and there. Uh, pretty much all this is, is just trying to add as much HP and DR in as possible. <laughs> and uh, I've got Jin Special Evasions, obviously, because these are just, they're insane crystals, especially when you're trying to be tanky. Uh, I have these dark red fang crystal armors that have seven DR per, so 14 DR total. Um, I've got the Bond Kobe's, I've got the Jin Special Evasion. So I've got three chest pieces, essentially. Three three chest crystals, or um, six chest crystals, technically. Whereas before, that was obviously not an option. I've also got the four-piece Hoom set up, because the stat density and all the stats you get in terms of tankiness here are just too good to pass up on, as well as the Rebellious Crystals. And this setup is kind of a meme. I really doubt I use this unless I'm fighting somebody who has a lot less gear than me, or I just want to mess around and pretend to be tanky for a bit. But yeah, not super ideal uh, overall, but just kind of fun. And if I was going to change any of my crystal setups, I would probably change this one and change it to something a little bit more useful. But this one's fun and I, I've had some fun with it already. So why not just keep it on for now? So I'll quick go over the entire, all the setups and, and hover over the uh, specific crystal builds that I'm running right now, just so you guys can get a get a look for all the stats that I'm getting for all the setups. This is currently my PV setup that I have. These ancient magic crystals of Crimson Flame 
are one of the very few crystals that don't really fall into a group so you can actually spam them as a very cheap way to get five ap this is what i've done for uh, pve sake as you know i don't really need a whole lot of accuracy and i'm just trying to get as much ap as i possibly can for pve so uh, i've got these in here right now this is my 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 dr you know trying to get that uh, extra damage versus you know <laughs> the tanky dr classes and just squishy any dr players try to kill them as fast as i possibly can and then i've got the accuracy you know high damage build as well this just changes out car maze uh rbf car maze for gin vipers giving me a little bit more accuracy uh than uh than my other previous build then we've got our cap siege which gives a ton of hp 850 total hp which is absolutely phenomenal uh, still getting all of that good value with credit damage from the corrupteds and everything like that and then we've got our very tonky build <laughs> which is such a, it's such a meme it's really such a meme but it's also sick this is a great build i love i love this build <laughs> and uh you can kind of see all the stats laid out here um like i said this is probably one i'll change if out of all of out of all of these so um now, I did mention that there was something a little bit interesting that evasion players could do to kind of get a little tanky, because if you look at this from, you know, the outside looking in, not really understanding the full picture here, you'd say, oh my gosh, uh, evasion is dead, because I can have RBF Vipers and I can have Gin Vipers, which is just insane amount of value in terms of damage and accuracy, and evasion's obviously just dead, right? There's no way it'll be good. Well, that's not exactly true. Uh, because, like I mentioned with this uh, PV crystal set up here, this, this, these crystals that don't have a group, and you can kind of put as many of them in as you'd like, you can also do that with an agility crystal. Uh, I believe it's the blue agility crystal that gives 8 evasion per uh, slot or per crystal. Uh, so instead of, you know, there, there's the Jin Harfias that give, you know, 20 evasion per, per crystal. And then there's the, uh, the agilities that give 20 evasion per crystal. I believe I actually have a couple of agilities here. Oh uh, yeah, see, a Magic Crystal of Infinity agility, all evasion uh, plus eight. These have no group. So as you can see, no group here. Uh, uh, and it also has, um, you know, the Jin Harfias, uh, which I do not have. And then I've got these uh, Jin of agility or uh, ancient magic agility ones here that are plus 20 evasion and the group is increased evasion so you can't you can put the Jin harfias in here and then you won't be able to put in these agilities or vice versa but what you can do is you can put Jin harfias in as well as these crystals and that is absolutely insane value for evasion builds if you're willing to give up some of the damage I've seen some really crazy builds that, you know, make you so tanky, so unbelievably tanky because you have the full Jin Harfia build. You've got the, uh, obviously you have your Elkars, you have, you know, corrupted for a little bit of damage or, or maybe even not. And you just fill out the rest of, of your crystal build with these plus eight evasion crystals. And you end up having like an extra 60 something evasion on top of having Jin Harfias, which is absolutely insane. Um, kind of a meme to a certain extent, but there are some cool things you can do with it and evasion by by no means is dead because of these these crystal changes if anything People who want to be tankier and are willing to give up You know that little bit of extra damage gain from running some of these other crystal setups You, you got a lot tankier with these crystal changes, which is pretty cool um, There are some weird things that I I actually don't have personal experience with but because of the way they've done the grouping for some of this stuff, there are some weird situations where you're unable to get capped resistances and stun and knockdown for things like crypt because they're kind of put into the same group. So it's kind of getting a little bit weird for some of that stuff. But overall, there has been absolutely nothing but praises for me regarding this crystal preset system. I think it is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the quality of life, the ability to change on the fly, the different options, family-wide crystals. You can put these, you can have crystals for life skilling now for hunting. You can get attack speed and crit from for hunting and, and, and get all these slight little cool things. There's so many options, so many amazing things you can do with this crystal preset system. And honestly, just I have nothing but good things to say. Now, I'm a little worried that somebody might find uh, some little... A little exploity type thing uh, moving forward with some of the way these groups are set up but right as of right now it looks pretty managed and looks like they've done their research and done their homework on everything and kind of limited things to a to a 
to a correct extent while still providing a lot of freedom of choice and freedom of expression in terms of crystal builds, which is literally all you can ask for because that is part of the fun of MMOs is creating and optimizing your build. So they've done a great job with this. Uh, if you guys have any more questions regarding this crystal preset system or have int any interests on what I'm running or what I plan to run in the future, make sure to comment down below, join the stream at twitch.tv slash stratified, come hang out, ask questions, just chill. And uh, yeah, there will be a progress video here coming up sooner than later. I've been working on some stuff. If you guys can see my my warehouse, I've got a good amount of money, and there is a reason for that. Uh, it's 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 got we got some we got some spicy stuff coming. So make sure to subscribe to see more. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one.